Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, how to lose money in Magic the Gathering very fast. And we can say travel, we can say hotel, airplane, we can say like any of this stuff, right? But I'm going to focus on something that a lot of people don't, do not talk about. Um, it's speculation. Uh, speculation is an easy way to go totally broke. And here's two different examples I'm going to use both from the same type of um, set, um, sealed set. Baleful Sticks, at the highest point, that card is $23. I believe at GP Houston, it was buy listing for 10 bucks, so it's probably like $18 at that time when I buy listed it to uh, Strike Zone Online about two years ago. That card currently is $4.50. Now, what happened to it was it was reprinted, and by reprinting the card, the price just obviously plummeted, but even beyond that, it was an uncommon. So it was uncommon. Uh, Scavenging Ooze, a $40 card, be, is now a $4 card, I believe. As is something called Dual Caster Maids. That card started at $20, is now $3.20. That has got to be the fastest way to lose your pants in this game is to speculate on products that are that appear on Walmart. So if the product appears anywhere in Walmart, then that means people can buy as many of them as they want, appear anyway, anywhere in Target that includes class packs. So class packs, a lot of people are saying class packs will be a tremendous amount of value. And this class pack is a great value if you want to play with the cards. Now a lot of people want to say, hey, maybe we can speculate on that. No, no. The reason you're not going to speculate on that is because the Baleful Sticks, uh, Dual Caster Mage, any card. I mean, I feel like the uh, Dorati, the Goblin dude who from the uh, 2014, or True Name Nemesis even. Like, take example of any of these cards that when they were released, they seem really good. Like, oh, cool, this whole set is like 90 bucks. But now are terrible. Baleful Sticks, when it was released in Night of the Ninjas, easily hit 12 bucks, And then as high, it hit $23, which is, in my opinion, not unreasonable. Then it got reprinted. Uh, same with Scavenging Ooze. Same with any of these highly reprint. So you can be reprinted into Oblivion from a core set, which in my opinion is not bad. But you can also be reprinted into Oblivion from a class pack or a... Uh, intro deck, or so when you look at these cards, does it matter that this card is in an intro deck? Yes. Does it matter this card is in a class pack? Yes. Is it going to be tremendously difficult for you to speculate on that card? Yes. Because at any time when the set is still around, they can say, hmm, well, you want, you know, the, the cards Coco, Windswept Heath, um, Rhino. I'm missing another one, Dromoka's Command. Those are cards I love and those were cards that people speculated heavily on. Why would anyone pay more than $30 for those four cards? Why would they do that? They would not. You can get a class pack online for $30. You can get the old class packs for like $24 or $22 online, easily. So yeah, um, do I expect this class pack to hold its value? No. Soon it will be selling for less. What's MSRP? Is it like thirty four ninety nine? But it can well it will not hold MSRP because Target will have a sale or put a sticker on it at some point when it's not selling. Your local game stores has to compete against Target and Walmart, so they'll have it for cheaper. Online will definitely have it for cheaper. If you buy a case, like a case, a box of those, you can definitely get it for cheaper. I know what it actually comes out for, and it's very good. But at the same time, I look at Baleful Sticks, I look at Dual Caster Mage, I look at any card printed in, to, in Commander uh, 2014, which was a massive print, or any one card printed in Class Pack, uh, Prophet of Kufix, Corsair of Kufix, and they all just never recover from this. And they never will recover. And that's the sad part, because when you have a dual deck or a Class Pack deck, 
by definition, most of the other cards are going to be dead after rotation. So the only way you can sell this class pack if it makes sense for you, for the Windswept, the Rhino, the Command probably after rotation. So after two years from now, Command probably won't be played that much. And then the, obviously, it just would scare me to want to invest in a class pack. If you need a class pack, you want a deck, buy four of them, you make a deck. There you go. Four Cocos. But if you're trying to make money from them, I'm going to just tell you those examples. Baleful Sticks, Dual Cast of Mage, that's what they are. Um, anytime you have a product in Walmart, anytime you have a product in Target, I love having products in those places because that means no one can fleece you anymore. And that's good. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.